There's a lot of things to be worried about when you eat out in public, besides the pandemic. Today I'm going to cover 5 of the most scariest health hazards in Bar Rescue. Welcome back to Finale, let's get into the video. Number 5, Till Debt Do Us Part. This is easily one of the most disgusting episodes that one can come across during all seasons of Bar Rescue. In the show, when the hosts go to the kitchen, they come across a layer of bacteria on the bar which enrages them. When the bar manager is confronted about it, he just conveniently decided to blame it on the bartender and says that it's not his fault. As the episode progresses, the host decides to check on the wine and the liquor and the bottles of all the intoxicants which are present in the bar. Once they poured it out into a glass, all the people present were shocked and extremely disgusted to see the glass full of fruit flies. The contents of the glass were then poured out and then strained through a white towel which eventually revealed that there were a handful of fruit flies living in almost half a glass of liquor. The host even proceeded to comment that this was the worst and the most disgusting thing that he had ever seen in the 20 years he had been in the business. Even more shocking thing was the fact that the manager was adamant on upholding the claim that it was not his fault. Failing with the lights. <laughs> All the people. Is it there? All right, puke. Go sit down somewhere for me. Number four, ice mice baby. Think about mice. Did you shut her out of fear and disgust? Now think about mice scurrying around a kitchen where your food is being prepared while you wait outside absolutely unaware of what's going on inside. Sounds dreadful, doesn't it? This is something which the customers of this bar experienced. Ugh, what a trauma. In the episode, the hosts were shocked to see the bar infested with fruit flies and mold. We mean literally infested and covered. Fruit flies were flying openly all around the bar, while most of the equipment was covered with mold, especially the ice machine dispenser. Now this was something which was very concerning as all the ice which was put in the drinks served at the bar was taken from the dispenser. This meant that the ice was also covered with mold and had the potential to make many people sick. And to top it all off, the host also came across two dead mice lying there in the kitchen and stinking it up. Well that certainly was a surprise they were not expecting. This is your ice. That is on all of your ice. That's from the actual unit that the ice falls through. Number 3, Turtle on its back. One thing that scares all of us collectively is food poisoning and any illness that can be transferred through food. And the fear that we have is completely justified since these illnesses actually have the power to kill us or at least make us unbelievably sick. The bar which was shown in this episode was creating the worst possible food ever which was completely unsafe and extremely unhygienic. What the bar was mainly serving was gumbo soup which was apparently their specialty. The chef which was with the producer team of Bar Rescue decided to try it out and was absolutely shocked to find out that it was completely cold. It seemed as if it was not defrosted at all or nor was it heated up properly. When he asked the people who worked in the kitchen about it, he found the soup was pre-cooked and frozen which eventually was just taken out and put into a bowl and served. The fact that it was not heated up to 220 degrees before it was given to people made it the perfect breeding grounds for bacteria. This was proven by the fact that the chef who simply tasted just a spoonful of it ended up going to the toilet twice just to hurl it all out. And there's Rob, Kev, he's the kitchen manager. Give me a little while, they just put in a big order. So, for recon, I got two... Number two, empty bottles full cans. I have two words for you: bubbling sewage. That's right, bubbling sewage is exactly what was found in the kitchen of a bar that was being inspected. The owners had actually bought the building while the pipeline was broken and never bothered to fix it and rather just decided to let it stay the way it was and build their kitchen right around it. If that doesn't disgust you enough, then let me tell you that there the sewage had maggots or some other insects living in there as well. Think of all those insects probably being present in the food that was served. The host took a glass and pulled up some substance from the sewage pool to show it to the owners. The content was pitch black and smelled extremely bad. Once that happened, he poured it back to reveal that there was a terrible amount of gunk which was left stuck to the glass. No. Bloody Marys, tequila. Yeah. No liquor at all. No liquor. No. It's like giving a three-year-old a birthday cake. For one hole in none, we saved the worst one for last. This is the bar which was the most dangerous and had the potential to cause the maximum amount of health damage to the customers. Alongside being covered in mold, the kitchen had infestations of black mold and fungi. Black mold is something which is extremely dangerous as it can affect the person's vital body parts, such as the lungs or the nervous system, and cause them to even die. Worst of all, this mold can spread through ventilation systems, since any people who breathe in the air were probably at risk and could even lose their lives. Other than that, the kitchen had not been cleaned in months and had layer after layer of much and dust on it. So much that it was being found even in the food that was being served. This brings us to the end of our video, I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. So long!